Yokota. Yokota? Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Got another custom e-bike build for you. This one, you could already tell, it's interesting. Uh, I wanna go over what this bike is, what this thing is, what what all these things are. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd out. I take normal bikes and I convert them into high powered, super fun, way better value e-bikes than you could buy at the store or online. So if you like this stuff, consider liking it, consider subscribing, check out my other videos. Let's get right into this. This is, this is an older bike. <laughs> This is like, this guy's had this bike for probably 30 years now. He said this was his burner bike, which that's a, you know, take it down to Burning Man and you know, let your freak flag fly. No judging. But this is a cool bike. I love extra cycle. This is the free radical. First of all, if you guys know me, I love cargo bikes. I just love that it, it adds capability to any bike. Look at these pannier bags here. This is a grocery hauler. So this is the, this is the extra cycle free radical and it just turns any bike into a cargo bike. It attaches here, your rear dropouts attach right here, and then you get like an extra two feet of bike, essentially. It's super dope, I love it. So this bike is the Yokota El Capitan. Never heard of it before, but it's cool. Check it out, it's got a Brook saddle on it, spring saddle. It's got a little bell with like a googly eye on it. And it's just, it's a cool bike. I love these extra cycle free radicals. So let's get into the mechanics, what I added to it. I didn't add this, this was already on it. We put a BBS HD motor at the so thousand watt mid drive, uh, stock chain ring, 46 tooth. This is a 52, two, uh, 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour battery. So this thing is gonna have plenty of range. This thing is gonna be able to do 40, 60 miles, depending on how much you're pedaling, obviously with it. You could do more, you could do less. For the display, we want the DPC-14 or 850C, however you wanna call it. It's got a throttle here, in case you don't feel like pedaling. It's got mechanical brake cutoffs. What those do is just when you hit the brakes, you can't send power, you can hit the throttle, you can pedal, it's not gonna send power to the motor. Just a little safety feature. Okay, let's go do a giant nerd out test, see how this thing performs. And just so you guys know, a giant nerd out test is hill climbing from a start, hill climbing from a stop and a top speed test. Let's go check it out. So yeah, overall, I really love this bike. I love the extra cycle, free radical edition, turning a bike into a cargo bike. And you can see this thing still hauls. I love it. Climbing hills, switch out the switch out the front chain ring, switch out the rear chain ratios. This thing's gonna climb hills much better. It's gonna have a much higher top speed. However you want, it's totally customizable with a mid-drive. You know, this is like a 30-year-old bike. I love it. You know, this, this bike's been to Burning Man. This, this bike has got a story behind it. And now that it's electrified, it's got probably another 30 years ahead of it. I love it. Instead of going out and buying another bike, we're reusing this, repurposing it, and giving it another 30 years of life. I just really love the idea of using something old, turning it into something way better than what you could buy, brand new even. We're not like using all those materials to buy new stuff, ship new stuff, buy new stuff, wasting money. You know, this bike I think costs around 1600 bucks for him, for something that you cannot touch. You can't, you can't buy this for 1600 bucks with a 1500 watt, this thing puts out 1700 watts peak mid-drive with a almost a thousand watt hour battery. You, you can't touch that pre-buying. You could maybe buy a hub motor with a 750 watt motor and like a 700 watt hour battery, maybe, but the value is just forget about it. I'm starting to go on a rant. This definitely is the future though. If anyone tells you otherwise, they're trying to sell you snake oil or make a quick buck. So, all right, later guys, thanks.